Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the new updated Jelly Bam version 5.1 on your AT&T Galaxy Note 2. Now this ROM will work for other devices as well like the T-Mobile Note 2 and the LTE variants. So just keep that in mind. So what you're going to want to do is just download the file. I will leave the, a link in the description for the XDA thread. So once you do that, you're just going to want to boot your phone into recovery. I'm running a custom, I'm actually running the ROM I'm going to install, but if you don't have the reboot to re recover option, it's just volume down, home button, and power button. You'll see the Samsung logo, wait a second or two, I believe it is, and then it'll boot into your recovery. So you see I am running Team Win Recovery. <clears throat> Let's go to Wipe, Factory Reset. Bring this in a little bit closer so you can see a little. Alright, and once that is done, you're just going to hit back. You're going to go to System. You're going to go to Swipe to Wipe for that as well. Now, this doesn't take too too long at all, so you're just going to hit back. Cache, same thing. Swipe to Wipe. Now, you don't only have to wipe or cache. You can just do Wipe System and then Wipe System and Factory Set. Pretty much all you have to do, but just to be safe. So, once you do that, you're going to go back and you're going to go to the install and you're going to want to find that zip so for me it's the Jelly Bam bring it in for you guys to actually be able to see it it's the Jelly Bam version 4.2.1 T0 LTE version 5 it's just a zipper so make sure you download that and install it it may be named differently so just a little heads up and it doesn't take too long to install it, it takes a about 30 seconds or so. Now the G apps are included, so just a little heads up. Don't flash the G apps after, you know, installing this. So I will be back when this is done installing. All right, and that was easy enough. So once it's done installing, you're just gonna hit reboot, and it should re reboot our phone. Now this only takes, like, roughly about 30 seconds, the same as when you install it, to uh, fully boot up. So, and look. The boot animation is finally full screen. Big thumbs up to the dev for that. Big thumbs up. If you guys have seen my other install video, you know my big complaint was like it was only like part of the like a little partial you know section of the screen. So I mean it, it's not that big of a deal. You can just install another boot animation from somewhere else. But I like that he actually made this full screen now. So there's there's no reason to change it because it, it's pretty cool looking. See Jelly Bam flashing, little Android rocket. I'm so, I'm still wondering where his arms and legs are, cause if his arms are like in the wing, I don't I don't know. Should probably ask the dev about that. Or his legs are just on fire. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Or his legs are the flame. You never know. So you see, it is booting up right now, and you see we have these welcome screen. I'm just gonna hit start. I'll use my AT&T data. I'll sign in later so you guys don't have to, you know, watch me try to fiddle through this. Skip that. Google services and finish. Now, once you do this, you'll notice that it just goes black and nothing shows up. What you gotta do is just hit home, then select Trebuchet. So just a little heads up for that. And boom. Android 4.2.1 on an AT&T Samsung Galaxy Note 2. So first off, I'm just going to go through the apps in general. We do have Apollo. We have Awesome Beats. Finally, big thumbs up for that. We have the 4.2 camera. We had that in the latest Jelly Band build, so that's not that big of a deal. There's still no photos here, so a little heads up for that. Um, there's still File Manager. We have Mod My Droid, which it kind of looks like a spam app. Like, I'm not sure why, but I hope it's not. See, we have Bing, Facebook, Twitter, and we have some ad at the bottom. But you see, it kind of looks like a spam, like, app. I don't know. It just it just does. So let's go back. And we have the stock 4.2G apps. We have Rescan Media Brew. So I'm assuming that just rescans all the media on your SD card and external SD card. We have Super SU. I would have liked to see a Super User again, but... Task Manager, Torch, and Expod, sorry, Exposed Installer, Exposed App Settings. 
Now, torch, if you use torch, it does break the camera. So, a little heads up for now. Now, that may be fixed. Again, check the XDA thread for what's working and what's not working. And don't, you know, come complaining to me when something gets broken. Also, since we're, we are using the trebuchet, if you guys have seen my video on CM 10.1 on the GSM Galaxy Nexus, I don't know where my phone's at, but, um, you notice that trebuchet has come a long way in the past few weeks. You can now set a custom transition effect. I always use tablet, it's just personal preference. You can also, you know, wallpaper hacks, you can show your outline, stuff like that. Grid indicator, drawer, you can have a custom transition effect in drawer too. I like to use the accordion because it just looks pretty sweet. You can fade those side pages. You can also mess with the grid in here as well. Mess with your hidden apps. If you go to general, this is where you can use full screen mode, which is always nice. So let's go back. Trebuchet will reload. And you'll see we have the nice tablet transition effect. And if we go to the drawer, nice accordion transition effect. It's pretty nice. So let's go into settings. Settings is where everything is happening in this ROM. So you see we have the wireless networks, nothing important there. We have themes, you know, our theme chooser. We of course have our jelly band wallpapers, which if you see my last video, they're still the awesome wallpapers. On our device we have sound, stuff like that. Personal. And if we go down here to jelly band, this is where you find your new updated AOKP settings. So you notice that everything is updated. Always nice. Then we have our signage mod settings, and since Paranoid Android isn't baked into this ROM it's nice that he, he did include the DPI setting so you can still change the DPI for any app that you want to which is always nice of course you have your performance controller and disable media scanner so let's go down to about phone see we are running on Android 4.2.1 up a little jelly bean guy you see we are running a custom CM kernel jelly Bam version is 5.1.0 stable as of 1 20 2013 and then here's our build number so I'm not gonna go too much into this it's nice that they include the touch with home as well but I'm not gonna go too much into like all the custom settings because there are a lot to cover I'm gonna leave that full to my full review Dude, sorry I'm trying to show you guys that you do have the quick panel right there you know it's tall phone a little effort but you can reorder these, you can set custom ones, you can add or remove, you can change the rows. So many settings that you can do with this ROM. I highly recommend checking it out. One of the best ROMs in my opinion. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, and especially my full review, look for that in a few days. Maybe not my full review, but definitely look for like you know going through all the settings and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video.